that means you are saying a yes to the topic a yes to the person or a yes to the conversation through small positive affirmations like oh yeah ah oh, nice oh, that's good so these are positive affirmations through which you're showing interest hello everyone how are you all hope you're doing great so welcome back to another session of learning english with me today we are going to learn something very important related to conversational english so this is going to be a part of your conversational skills how to have a conversation with anybody and today we are going to learn how to keep a conversation going so this is lesson number 2 in the conversation series i told you that in the recent video the part 1 i told you about how to start a conversation how to initiate a conversation now we have already done that the step 1 is clear now you have approached this particular person you have started the conversation now what after initiating a conversation now what how to keep it going how to hold that conversation how to kill that awkward silence after that first introduction the hi the hello the compliment now how to move on to the next step what you want to talk to the person if it's related to something related to business something normal friendly whether it's a business conversation whether it's a conversation with your friends with your colleague or even a stranger how to keep that conversation going that's very important and today we're going to cover that are you ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your celta certified english language tutor certified by the university of cambridge the uk and you're watching speak english with shivangi before beginning please subscribe the channel because you get one english video lesson on this channel every day also like the video and share it with your friends too Okay now coming back to the lesson how to keep the conversation going now we have cleared the first step that is how to start a conversation how to initiate a conversation and it's very important to know that so if you want to know how to start a conversation i suggest you watch this video before beginning this particular lesson go back and watch the lesson number 1 and then come back to this particular video because we are going to refer to something now we have initiated a conversation we have given the compliment maybe introduced yourself approached the person now what to do the first thing that you need to do the very important thing is the small talk often people they neglect the importance of small talk now what is small talk small talk is basically talking about something that is not very much important but interesting to talk about it's like you're talking about day to day events normal mundane events for example talking about weather that's considered as the most famous and common small talk topic so common small talk topic talking about weather and when i say small talk or when people hear this word small talk they think it's talking about the weather because this thing has been hyped so much but it's not like that you can't just talk about weather if you want you can talk about your day you can talk about anything maybe the event that you are in right you can just ask okay so how did you like the event how is your day going so far ask something initiate a conversation asking anything talking about any topic is small talk it's like you're asking a question and the person will respond to it something related to like whatever is going on maybe that's the thing or you can simply say the good old fashioned phrase oh the weather is lovely isn't it simple the beginning of the small talk you're simply initiating the small talk so try it out when you have to keep the conversation going try with the small talk that's very important now the step number 2 or the point number 2 that is to find a common ground find a common ground it's very important now what is a common ground a common ground is basically a name given to a common topic of interest in conversational english 
when we talk about conversational skills conversation common ground means finding a common area of interest it can be anything it can be food it can be a festival it can be a destination that you have visited it can be clothes it can be your color it can be an event it can be a movie it can be a book it can be anything it can be related to politics society something related to history maybe weather common topic right anything that you want try to find a common ground try to find something that you both are interested in talking because when you find that you will see that it's really natural to keep that conversation going both the parties will be equally involved you will be involved as well as the other person will be equally involved in the conversation for example you can take anything related to current affairs movies news whatever you want recently i got interested in the g20 events that took place here in india so if i like that and i meet someone who likes the same thing and who's excited about the same thing we both can talk about g20 and it will be really exciting like i can tell something and the person can respond and hence the conversation will flow it will go on with a flow so try finding a common ground okay now so step number 3 now step number 3 is to ask open ended questions now asking questions that's really important part of a conversation if you will not ask a question other person will not respond and in order to keep the conversation going it's very important for you to ask the question now asking questions where a person just say a yes or no is like ending a conversation abruptly or inviting that awkward silence now what to talk what to say what you have to do is you have to ask open ended questions now open ended questions are the questions which encourage a person to give you details rather than saying a simple yes or no so these questions automatically encourage the other person to share details and talk more otherwise what people do is they just say a yes or no for example if i say have you had lunch it could be answered in a simple yes or no that's it have you had lunch yes i had no i hadn't now the thing is that if you ask a person oh what did you like in the lunch the person is bound to share the details right it's not a simple yes or no the person has to answer in details with sentences with paragraphs now this is the way a conversation keeps on going when you ask open ended questions you invite more details and hence you have more chance to talk about things so when you'll get the detail you might be able to share your own opinion for example the person might say that the person liked pulao a lot and the next thing that he liked was noodles and then you can add that oh yeah i love noodles too so that is how you have to keep the conversation flowing it's just an example you need to ask open ended questions about anything so this was about food you can ask open ended questions related to current events politics maybe movies work related topics so whatever you're talking about whatever is the topic you're talking about you have to ask open ended questions related to that step number 4 so step number 4 is to show the genuine interest show genuine interest if you show interest in the conversation definitely the other person will feel encouraged to talk to you so showing interest in the beginning is not enough showing interest throughout the conversation is important imagine if you're talking to somebody and they are not paying attention to you they're looking here and there how will you feel same goes for you for me or anybody who is initiating a conversation you need to show interest even if the other person is initiating the conversation and you want to keep the conversation going show genuine interest 
in order to show interest there are various ways in which you can show interests it can be your body language your facial expression your attention that you're giving to the person if you have a very positive attitude it shows your interest right giving non verbal cues or maybe some kind of affirmations like oh yeah that also indicates your interest so showing interest is very important if you're showing interest the person is bound to keep talking to you because you have made an impact on the person so show some genuine interest when you're having a conversation stay focused pay your attention towards what the person is saying so step number 5 step number 5 is actually related to showing interest and it's a very important part of any conversation that is to use the non verbal cues use some non verbal cues now non verbal cues are very important non verbal cues are basically the signals that you are sending to the speaker to the other person that is involved in the conversation you're sending a positive signal that okay you are involved too in this conversation and it is called non verbal because you're not using your voice in this you're not verbally saying anything but through your body language through your facial expressions your eye contact maybe that little smile that you have you're showing the interest right one thing is that when a person is really interested they would have a very wonderful expression or maybe an expression of oh that is called all oh, like inspiring or awesome some kind of expressions like oh really so they'll have that kind of expressions on their face like oh. so that is the expression and same way when you're interested in something show your interest through non verbal cues check the non verbal cues of other person and also give your non verbal cues too so you need to check if the person is really interested in the topic or not if you think that the person seems disinterested they are maybe fidgeting with their hands so this is called fidgeting when you're not really paying attention and you're playing with your fingers your hands that's fidgeting if they're fidgeting with their hands if they're looking here and there that means they are not that much interested take that as a non verbal cue to find a common ground and when you found a common ground your turn is to show interest through non verbal cues now and you can just say ah oh, or you can smile in between and if you think that something is really awesome you can give that kind of expression with your eyebrow raised a raised eyebrow expression like ah oh. so that is kind of a, the expression that a person would feel encouraged to tell you more so give non verbal cues maintain eye contact that's very important it tells the other person that you are attentive and paying attention have a positive body language keep your back straight and it's just have a relaxed and open body language that's the key step number 6 okay step number 6 is again related to showing interest now this is different and step number 6 is to use positive affirmations now positive affirmations means verbal cues whenever you are voicing something that's verbal you're using your voice and positive affirmations that means you are saying a yes to the topic a yes to the person or a yes to the conversation through small positive affirmations like oh yeah Ah oh, nice oh, that's good so these are positive affirmations through which you're showing interest you are voicing it you're voicing your affirmation and this encourages the other person to talk to you and hence the conversation keeps on going okay so last but not the least step number 7 and that is encouraging the other person to talk now encouraging the other person to talk is very important often what happens is that if we find a topic of interest we end up talking a lot we keep on saying things keep on saying things and we don't give a chance to other person to respond or add the information or add their viewpoint in the conversation right and this is something that we need to avoid 
So when you are talking, remember to give equal chance to other person to talk back to you or to add information or to respond to whatever you are saying. You need to encourage the other person to say something. Otherwise, they lose the interest in the conversation and it might end up abruptly or it might not end on a good note. So encourage the other person to talk. Do not talk too much or do not try to dominate the conversation. Try to become the equal partner in the conversation and try to make the other partner feel equally involved in the conversation. That's very important. So from time to time, pay attention of asking opinion of the other person. Maybe pause a little, let the other person talk, pause a little and let the other person add something to the whatever is the topic. Speak and let the person speak too. That is the key. So these are all the points of how to keep a conversation going. So that was the lesson for today. I hope you liked it and you find it helpful. So lesson number one was how to start a conversation with confidence. This is how to keep a conversation going. Now the lesson number three in this series is remaining and you'll get the lesson number three soon. That is how to end a conversation. Now, ending a conversation is also an art. You can't end any conversation abruptly. So how to end a conversation? We will learn it in the lesson number three. And for that, you have to wait and check out the updates on the channel. Still, I'll bring a new lesson for you tomorrow. Do not worry. So that's it for today. Now I'm going to meet you tomorrow with a new lesson. Till then, take care, everyone. And bye.